Hello. So we are back, and this time we have a big problem. Charging ports. Are so many laptops, so many devices using different charging ports? So how we are dealing with this kind of uh, situation? This is a job from uh, the computer shop where I worked before. And the owner, the owner, he texts me and he says, sorry, I need a port for an Asus laptop. He's like, you know, Asus, okay. It doesn't tell me anything, yeah? And he said, Moni, do, I have a, do you have a Asus Type-C charging port? So if they have the charging port, they will not send me the job with the charging port. And I told him, send me a picture. He sent me a picture from the top. And uh, the story is, they searched for the port on eBay. They found the port on United States. That's all. Yeah. So the port for this laptop, and this is a nice laptop. When I say nice, it is a nice one. Quite an expensive one. Asus. We have Ryzen 3 and Radeon graphics. Nice keyboard. And nice sound. Uh, huh? What do you think about this one? Told you it's nice. If you ask yourself about this cable, this is a dodgy manufacturer design. So actually the power button is here. You see? It comes with that ribbon cable, can, comes here. So how we are dealing with this kind of problem? I mean, the, the customer want the job, yeah? The charging ports are destroyed. I will show you how the charging port looks. Both, yeah? This has two charging ports on the sides. So check here, check here, yeah? No, this is the new one. No, this is the new one, yeah? This is the new one. This is the original one. Check the port. Hmm? Destroy it. And the one from the laptop, let me show you. The one from the laptop. Huh? Uh, check that, yeah? So you can see even this one is destroyed. So how you will fix something like that? Based on the fact the customer needs the job and you don't have the port. The first, you have to check the pins, yeah? The pins of the port. So I took out the original port. And the original port looks like that. Huh? Let me get rid of the reflections. Too much, huh? Yeah, something like that. So you can see it has a row of pins here, a row here, and here. You can see the pins. Quite, you know, uh, weird port. I mean, not kind of weird. We've seen this design even on the, the Nintendo Switch. But you have to find a port. And uh, what is matter are the pins, yeah? So ignore the port, like uh, how the port has to be soldered, like to give some mechanical strength, yeah? So ignore that, check only the pins. You can see, that's what all what is matter, the pins. And you can see the pins are kind of the same, kind of. So what do I have to do? I have to cut down the plastic. You see this bit? Yeah, this I have to cut it down from here, which was here. And uh, the port looks the same. So that's all what you have to do when you buy a port. I mean, you will not find the same port always. Or, or let, let, let me say it on a different way. Most of the time, you will not find the same port. Okay? So I bought another port, and this port port it's a Dell one yeah this one you can see you bought this item so this is a Dell and we are fitting a Dell uh, charging port into Asus because we cannot find the Asus, Asus uh, charging port now I took out the port yeah good now we have to solder back we have to solder back the new port now, what do we have to do? We have to lower the solder temperature because you don't want to melt the new port. So I will come with the solder iron and I will use some low melting solder, but not very low. You can buy like 120 degrees uh, low melting solder, solder wire. Well, we are using something around 180 degrees, which is fine. A little bit of flux. It is on focus. Yeah, 
the ATs. Now just applying some solder. That's all what you have to do is to apply some solder. Be sure that the solder is taking inside of every hole. And that looks fine. The pins the same. Now this bit. Actually this doesn't matter because our port is not the same. Our port is not the same. Good. Looks good. Looks good. So what about now? Now on the new port. The new port looks like that. And uh, you can see, uh, we can't really solder, you see the metal uh, from the sides are not really the same. So we're going to bend them, because all what we care is about the pins, you remember I told you, it's about the pins. Then we can give metal straight to the port after that. Okay, so I bend the sides of the port. Now all we have to do is to solder the port. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to comb with low temperature, around 250 degrees, with 250, 260, you cannot melt the plastic. Flux. Perfect, you can see how it's getting melted. I think it's fine, let's try to put the port. Mm -hmm. And the port go nicely inside. Good. Now we can use some flux. Yeah. Now you can use some flux. We can be sure, just to be sure, just to make sure uh, the pins are soldered properly. I'm not taking the board out because the case is like a metal case. You know the case of the laptop so it cannot get melted. Yeah. Okay, so each pin is soldered. Now we'll come with the solar iron and I will use like a normal solder wire. This one is getting melted around 280 degrees on the sides, yeah, here. Because we want to make sure the job it will not come back. Looks good. Let me use some rosin. The rosin is very good for these kind of jobs. Because uh, rosin has a boiling temperature higher, so it's not getting evaporated so quickly. Looks good. Now on the other side.
looks good. Crossing. For me, it looks perfect. How is looking for you, huh? So what do you think about our repair? It will work or not? That's the question. Yeah, it will work or not? That's actually a very good question. Uh, let me grab the charger. Uh, usually you can disconnect the battery. But I think I think we are fine. The battery is dead on this one. So plug in the charger. Lol. What kind of tutorial is this one? It's not working. No, my meter is fine. <laughs> the job is not working. The laptop is not working. Wow. Can't believe. We should make tutorials only when we are successful. Right? Yeah. You know what? The pins are sold, like how I said. We can see. We can move them. Let me bring some reflections. I mean, we can try and move them, but I'm pretty sure they are fine. <gasps> oh, how this is even possible? Lol. Huh, so only those are sold. <sighs> wow, this looks so bad, you know. You know, uh, I should uh, rename the channel here. Yeah? I mean, let's be serious. Come on. If you think I'm the only one, it, it happens something like that. Can happen, you know. Maybe you have one pin is not sold properly. Maybe all the pins are not sold properly. Can happen. Hmm. We solder them one more time. What's the problem? With the solder iron, huh? You think I'm perfect? No. I'm trying to short, you know, any job uh, how much I can because obviously spending more time, you have to charge more. That's fine. So we have a problem with the pins on the sides. So I'll come with the with the hot air machine around 250 degrees. That one and this one. Perfect. No one is perfect. It's clean? It is clean. Now it's time for testing. Now it's time for testing. Let's see. Plug in the charger and is not working. That's crazy. It's probably the laptop is faulty. <laughs> probably the you know that's what's happening, and it's happening so many times. <clears throat> the things get faulty. 
And what the customer do? You know, with the cable inside of the charger. Actually, it's working. 14 volts, 2.9 amps, you can see. So why didn't it work from the beginning? Hmm? Yeah, it's working fine. Probably the battery is dead. It's completely dead. It's charging. 14 volts, 2.9 amps. 3 amps, you can believe that. And the laptop just came on. Yeah, and it's working fine. Probably because the battery was like 0 volts. Hmm? Yeah, it's working great. And it's charging fine. I mean, just, you know, a short video about how we are dealing with this. Because if you check, like, a specific port, most likely you will not find it. And all that you need, what you need is actually the pins. Yeah? You, have, you need the pins to be the same. That's all what you need. Pretty solid. Huh? The other port, yeah, it is faulty, even the other one. But that's a different story because the customer needed urgent, so uh, I ordered this port a while ago. I had it here. Okay, I will stop now. It's yeah, still charging fine. 14 volts, 2.9 amps. I will stop now. Just have in mind, yeah, don't get stressed about the ports. Because on a computer shop, the people are getting stressed about the ports. Because you cannot find the same. And that's the moment where all you have to do is check the pins configuration. You bend those things or you break them down. Then you solder on the same way I solder the port here. And that's how you solve a, like an impossible problem. Now let's be honest. Order the port from United States or from China. It will take a while, you know. Not every customer is willing to wait like one month. Good. So I'll stop now. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.